So Triumph Learning is an education content provider and our users are, are predominantly our teachers, school admins and students. Get Faggle is a very exciting product that we're launching in uh, July 2014. Uh, it's a truly adaptive learning science based product. Teachers not only need to teach, but they also need to worry about how they can align their teaching material to the state standards. Triumph Learning is coming in the way, saying, looking at this opportunity and trying to address this need very, very quickly. So we're launching this product in early uh, July 2014 kind of build this product which not only uh, addresses the, the core rigor of Common Core state standards, but at the same time looking at how you measure uh, students' achievement, how you look at progression, and more or less our philosophies towards if you, if you do smarter practice, you know, assessments and any kind of test that you take, it takes care of by itself. Currently, if you look at the, the, the way teachers work in a day is that they not only teach, they also being asked to look at, sift through minds and minds of data, and see what it actually means for them and what it actually means for the student. So it's very important for us that the data that we're surfacing on a platform is, is more meaningful, it tells a story, and teachers are able to understand what it means in, in the moment, uh, not just wait for a day or two days for the data to surface. And at the same time, they can look at the data and take any decisive actions that they would like to do. Visualized JS is kind of very interesting for us because you can not only look at uh, building a report in a, in a whole different domain, but at the same time you can surface that report just through JavaScript. And with JavaScript, it can seamlessly wire up into your web application a bit more easily. So the core requirement was ease of use. Uh, we really didn't want to have uh, teachers go to 25 different platforms to kind of pull up reports and we didn't want the reports to be extremely static. We want the data to be actionable. And since our core platform is built on HTML5 and a lot of jQueries are part of the product itself, Visualize.js just seemed uh, to blend really well to overall architecture and framework of a platform. Plus, with Visualize.js, it's extremely commanding in terms of how we want to surface reports. Uh, we don't want to look at another site where they can go to JaspersOft and pull up reports. We want it to be very, very well fused into the platform, so it's very seamless for them. And the only way to do that is through a library that can support it, which is Visualize.js. Uh, an iframe, if you look at it, that approach, it just kind of branches off in a whole different look and feel, and it's very hard for us to control what can be actually blended in from an application standpoint. So visualization of that data is extremely important when you look at volumes and volumes of data and how quickly they begin to change. So for us, looking at Visualize.js, looking at JasperSoft, uh, the visualization of that tool was really, really powerful because you can look at data in so many different ways. You can look at building charts, you can look at building drill down reports, building dashboards. And for us to be able to look at data and kind of interact with the data was extremely important as well. Like you could look at a chart, you could zoom into the chart and see what's happening. If you, if you have a, a data for, for a month, for example, you could look at a, a line chart and you could essentially zoom in to say what happened in a day, what happened in a week. And it helps the teacher a lot because now they can just uh, do what they really love, which is teach, and not worry about being a data scientist and data analyst and kind of just completely take that out of that equation, which is kind of pretty, pretty impressive. So we are very excited. <laughs>